When it comes to improving work procedures in the shipyard, sometimes the best ideas come from the newest employees. My name is Adam Fay. I'm a second year apprentice here at North Naval Shipyard, Shop 51, Code 950 Electricians. While working on one of his standard projects, Adam noticed how difficult it was dealing with a certain type of equipment. So the breakers that we work are the power distribution for the whole ship. The breakers, when we get them, weigh 540 pounds. Once you take the arc chutes off and get it to the condition you see here, it's still 330 pounds. Per each breaker, we normally have to flip this thing over five or six times. So that's just under 2,000 pounds worth of lifting and flipping. And that's a lot of strain on the arms. It's a lot of strain on the lower back. So my thought was, how can we make this easier? How can we make it safer? How can we make it faster and do it all at the same time? Adam came up with an idea to make working on the breakers a much easier task. The next step was to find the people who could help bring his idea to reality. I went over and talked to the Rapid Prototype Lab. They were doing their kind of fair outside of Building 1500, and I went and talked to them. That was the initial conversation, saying, I have this idea, what can we do? And they said, well, come and see us in the lab, bring your idea, and we'll discuss it. So I brought it over, and I was talking with John and Kenny in Rapid Prototype, and. They took one look at it and said, yes, we can do this. The folks at Rapid Prototype, along with some shipyard engineers, were able to construct Adam's design. There was a lot of buy-in. Kenny was instrumental. He got buy-in from the welders, the machinists, got all the plates cut with donated time, donated material. There was the metal trades really chipped in to make this one happen, to make the prototype. When he first used the prototype, Adam noticed an immediate difference when working on the breakers. Is now it doesn't matter how strong you are, any stature can work this and it allows access. So before, for example, to check the wiring, you would have to flip the breaker over. Now you can just tilt it on the frame, jot down all your wire numbers, all your locations. Spinning it before took two hands and your whole body. Now you can just grab one side of it and rotate it just like a lazy Susan. And we're looking probably cutting two days off of each breaker. And the shop estimate is about 900 man hours a year in savings, which comes out to about three quarters of a million dollars just for this shop for a year. Adam's creation has provided immediate benefits and figures to have far reaching influence on future work as well. All the other shipyards that do breaker work have emailed or called and said, when can we get one? How can we get one? Adam's story serves as a prime example of how one shipyard employee can come up with an idea that positively affects thousands of fellow employees. Just as a second year apprentice, to be able to make this huge of an impact is just immensely gratifying. And to have the recognition from people above me that value that innovation and can see, and see that innovation, it just means the world to me. Adam demonstrates how the Fay frame works. The way we originally had to work these breakers, if you wanted to spin this thing to get to the back, you would have to brace and try and rotate this against the drag of the table, which one person can sort of reasonably do. However, if you want to get to the bottom side of this to get to the rack end mechanism, you would have to carefully pull this forward so you're off the front edge of the table, and then try and tip this all the way back without your tail moving, without flipping it backwards, without letting it fall and crush your feet. All right, so with the fray frame, now instead of using the whole body, you can just very easily pivot this around. All right, so on the pivoting side of this, to spin you have a central pivot, and this is what's taking most of the weight. And then the corners, you have four casters, which are just helping to balance this and help keep it stable. If you want to flip it over, just take your locking pin out and just one-handed access whatever part. When you get it where you want it, put your locking pin back in and now it's secure to work on. One of the nice things about the way that these plates are designed is that you can use your factory lifting points to attach the plate to the breaker, and then use the two bosses above it to use the original lifting rigs to move this, so it doesn't require any additional gear. The other nice thing is on the bottom, you have two hooks that come down and clamp the bottom of the frame out of the way of everything, 
to keep the plate stable both top and bottom. Congratulations to Adam Fay, another outstanding employee at America's Shipyard.